Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. So, welcome to week 24. Yeah, weeks are clicking away now. Uh, we've only got another six to go, apparently. Well, that was the plan, but I'm not sure we're going to make it. Yeah, let's keep that one in mind. Uh, so, we are a bit lost because uh, we can't finish the front bathroom because it's a lot of pieces missing. Yeah, they, we've got bits of trim missing and things like that, which I still need to order. Uh, and actually, the logistics of getting everything here on time is really quite complicated. Yeah. And um, it takes actually a lot of work. Uh, to make sure you've got the stuff to be able to do the job. Yeah. So we've had a bit of a rethink here. Yeah. And uh, everything we did in the off cabin before we went away, we we're ripping out and starting again. And we're going to do the layout in a different way, have a smaller bathroom and uh, put the bed across the back of the boat. So, it will give us a bit more space. It gives more space and a yeah, bigger bed. A bigger bed, yeah. yeah that's so the thing. If it's yeah. a couple, a double couple, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a double bed. Yeah, whereas the bed was really a bit small. Yeah. And uh, we don't want to make that mistake. So, yeah, it's all coming out and uh, we're starting again. We're starting. Originally, we were having a bed on the port side with a heads and shower on the opposite side. We have decided to put the bed across the rear of the cabin. This will give us more width and a small wet room on the port side with a desk and a cupboard on the starboard side. So we're building up uh, the back panel for the uh, our bulkhead of the boat and uh, we don't actually have any thick plywood so we've got loads and loads of this 5mm plywood so we're cutting it all out twice and then uh, laminating it up and actually it's a much easier way to do it because it's much easier to get the shape using a thinner piece of wood than it is using a thicker piece of wood. So that's what we're doing now. we've uh, changed the layout this back bedroom we've had to put another piece of flooring in and uh, 
That means drilling and tapping into the beams. These are black headed bolts. And quite honestly, they they just disappear into the floor. Christian is just a shower tray still fit. So we've built this stud wall here and we've got the uh, shower tray in and also the floor, or the visible floor has been changed to the buffalo board. And the drain's in. Back to winter guys, yeah, it was like minus one at night. The next question is obviously how are we going to hold it here. Do you think it should have, when I did the one in um, Havelock Road, I had a gap here. Oh yeah. You can't actually sit on it, it needs a gap, yeah, underneath. gap underneath. Yeah. Here. So it's going to come up like a centimetre or something like that. Could be more. Well, I'm just conscious of, I, I, can, I can bring it right up to here, but the lights won't show. 
So I don't know whether the lights need to show. Mm. Do you see what I mean? In some ways it would be easy because I could just screw into the... Well no, I can't screw into the green. Mm. And also that thing may not be anywhere near the horizontal. But... After a lot of thought we decided to support the oak breakfast bar on a leg on the inboard side and using two bolts with spacers attaching to the beam behind the side panel. The LED lights should still be visible on the surface. We're just waiting on a leg to be delivered for the breakfast bar and you can see the radiator tucked underneath there. All the taps are connected, waste is connected, gas is connected. I need to make up a hatch to go in uh, to cover the tank in the um, bathroom in the front headset and uh, I'm going to make it uh, with uh, oak veneer on the outside but in order to get it to the right thickness uh, because that's only six mil I'm going to do three layers so I'll have an oak veneer piece of plywood on the outside and then I'm going to laminate uh, two plain uh, panels on the inside and once it's all set and dried I'll then cut like a big hatch into it and uh, have that hatch that comes out. So I've got the blue and I've got the gloves. So this is a waterproof glue, uh, which will dry just through temperature. So I'm actually going to clamp it to a piece of 16mm uh, plywood. I don't particularly want it to warp. So here's my frame, which is uh, cut out of one piece of that uh, laminated up plywood with the uh, oak on the front. And then my next uh, panel will fit in there. Okay, have to have a shake off. I might put a little bit of uh, trim around the edge just to, uh, and then the shelf goes on top, which is fantastic. using these uh, draw catches um, that you often find on drawers on boats that stop them flying open when they're uh, when you're going along and I'm putting those on here uh, to hold the top in and two pegs at the bottom so I've drilled it from the other side first so this is the back I'm just going to have a bit of tape just in case so this ring will sit in here with a little tap and then the catch will come up underneath. Superb. Okay. A little bit of sanding to do I think. Wait. So this area just here is uh, going to be one of the electrical cupboards with all the fuse boxes in. And so I'm going to make it. And 
And then this panel is going to go in here. Like so, making a cupboard. On the front here will be rows of switches and fuses, and uh, inside will be the uh, Victron Energy MPPTs for the solar panels, and also probably the buzz bars that go in here, because this is where all the uh, positive and negative cables from all the 12 volts are going to land up. So this will kind of open, and uh, off we go. Fantastic. So it wasn't our best week really. Um, the weather really got us this week. I mean, it's been snowing and uh, it was below freezing for a couple of days. Uh, our little marquee we bought the previous week to cover up all the uh, timber cycle blown away. And uh, it's just been a struggle. Everything has been a struggle. So um, I would probably say now we're a week behind. 